five years after Superstorm Sandy and the miles of electric power lines in Westchester County that were toppled and were supposed to have been refitted underground are still above ground. $200 million of taxpayer money to bury 30 miles worth of lines. But Con Ed stopped doing that after just four miles and changed their strategy. So why? And what's going on? Investigative reporter Jim Hoffer digging deep into this story. Jim? Well, that's right. After Sandy, Con Ed decided it was time to get serious about putting some of its above-ground electrical lines below ground. The utility came up with a $200 million plan. No sooner than they started burying the cable, Con Ed changed its mind. When two back-to-back -back late winter storms hit Westchester County, they did more damage to Con Edison's overhead electrical system than any storm except Superstorm Sandy. Con Ed's own report filed days ago with the Public Service Commission shows 210,000 customers lost power. The downed wires and trees knocked out electric to wide swaths of the county for days. I want to know why the Con Ed execs can't bury the lines. In a 2013 rate request to the Public Service Commission, Con Ed proposed spending $200 million to underground overhead wires. In a press release, the utility said that that money would allow them to bury 30 miles of overhead lines. But we've learned instead of spending $200 million, Con Ed only spent $30 million to bury not 30 miles as initially planned, but just four miles of cable. You can't say that you're going to do something and not do it, and in the meantime, you have loss of power that's that's been experienced by people on a regular basis. Westchester County's executive still angry about the long duration of outages wants to know why Con Ed has stopped putting wires underground and what is it doing with the 200 million in ratepayers money. You got the money from the ratepayers, you didn't lay out that capital. Why? A question we took right to Con Ed's spokesman. Shouldn't customers get some of that money back? The, the money was used to develop a system, a, a new hardening uh, plan that did protect customers from more outages than we would have seen. Con Ed says instead of undergrounding, it has invested a billion dollars in storm protection, installing nearly 5,000 storm resistant poles that are 15% stronger. Additionally, the utility has installed stronger overhead cables and isolation switches to reduce storm outages. Con Ed claims these changes prevented 66,000 outages in the two March storms. I think people are going to find it very hard to believe, based on these most recent storms in the winter, that the hardening plan is working. It worked to reduce the number of outages, absolutely. I'd want to see proof that, that uh, hardened poles would do the better job. I don't know that that's true. The question, was Con Ed's shift in storm strategy a matter of cost or a needed correction that will reduce future outages? If it was undergrounded, it also would have come at an exorbitant cost. If you're going to assert that there's a better way to do it more cost efficient, then you better make that case before the public. So Con Ed says at nearly $6 million per mile, undergrounding of all Westchester County would cost $27 billion. And the utility says that would require massive rate increases.